transition from amateur wrestling to pro wrestling is astronomical. I was a state champion in high school, a junior national champion in high school. I was a two-time NCAA Division I champion in college. I was world champion in 1995 and Olympic gold medalist in 1996. I believe that I opened the door for a lot of amateur wrestlers to come in. Uh, once I broke the ice, a lot of people followed. Brock Lesnar from Minnesota is your heavyweight champion in the year 2000. Brock Lesnar is known as the Beast Incarnate. He is huge and skyrocketed just as fast as Kurt Angle did upon making his transition from amateur wrestling to professional wrestling. Both had many things in common. Uh, we were both heavyweights, both won the NCAA championships. Uh, we both got into professional wrestling. So we had a lot of identical things occurring in our career. So do you think that Brock, from day one, had his sights set on you as far as, like, we're going to be compared to one another, this is who I have to try to aim to be better than, who I have to aim to make more of an impact? Like, do you feel like he ha saw that? Or? Yeah, I think so, because I was feeling the same way. You know, when Brock came in, he kind of had a chip on his shoulder. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I think a rivalry between Brock and Kurt was inevitable because amateur wrestling is the most competitive sport out there. It's one-on-one. -on -one. You can't blame a teammate. You can't really blame an official. It's just two guys out there seeing who's number one. We had an incident the first time I met him. Uh, somebody came up to him and said, hey, how do you think you would do against Kurt Angle in a real match? He said, I'd kick his butt. A shoot match is when it is real. These two guys are legitimately going for it, trying to show who is the better competitor. Everything has to be a competition with you, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I'm a very competitive guy. You know that. So I walked up to him and I said, do you want to you wanna try me right now? He said, no, I, I, I have sandals on. I don't have shoes. I said, that's all right. Take your sandals off. We'll go barefoot. He was like, no, no, I don't want to do it. So. I let it go that day, but about a month later, he was in the ring uh, in South Dakota before a show, and he was wrestling Big Show. And uh, Big Show at this point in time was about 530 pounds, and Brock was picking him up and slamming him. And I was like, whoa, uh, this guy's the real deal. Like, he's a powerful man. He's lifting up this 500-pound man and taking him down like it's nothing. And uh, so when Brock's back was turned to me, I was outside the ring, and Big Show was on the other side of Brock facing me. I said, Big Show, get out of the ring. And he, he said, OK. And he backed up and got out of the ring. And Brock says, where are you going? And I snuck up behind him and tapped him on his shoulder. I said, it's time to go, Brock. <laughs> He just had to, right? Like, yeah, there was no getting was out no of it. Like, he was like, oh, yeah. this isn't going away. Like, maybe I could just say, <laughs> I don't have the right shoes, whatever, man. It's fine. It was eventually like, going to happen, yeah. definitely, yeah. And there was no way the wrestlers weren't going to let it happen. Yeah. Uh, they were going to make sure it did. Well, especially like you said, he came in with a bit of a chip on his shoulder. So it's like, win or lose, he wanted, you needed him to be humble to be like, yeah. all right, even if he won, he was going to get like tested. Well, I had to make sure I didn't lose. We had a good competition. It was very tight. Brock's a legitimate NCAA champion. He, I believe that if he would continue on wrestling, he probably would have made the Olympic team. So uh, I do believe he's Olympic caliber. And, and, you know, did I beat him? Yes, but it wasn't by much. If, if I would have lost to Brock, I would have gotten for the rest of my career from the yeah. boys. The memories we made for everyone. I remember this like yesterday. How many asses I kicked with these boots. Roddy Piper's leather jacket. We need this.